everyone, it's me. Who else would it be? So, I know I need to put some videos up that I have on my phone. Um, I'll probably put this up, like, as we speak or something. Um, okay, so I wanted to talk about religion or something. I don't know. What do I want to talk about? I want to talk about religion. So lately, I've been going to church with my mother-in-law. I know, crazy, huh? Um, this is my actual mother-in-law. Um, see, my husband was adopted. And now his mother there hates me. Whatever. And, um, this mother seems to like me. This real one likes me, I guess. And I like her. She's really nice and down to earth and real and um, understanding and um, she gets stuff she's um, accepting um, and I, I go to church with her and um, you know it's it's different because I'm not a big church person I like church but I don't like church I believe in God. Um, I have an issue with some religion because, like, I don't believe in converting people. And I don't believe in splitting up families over religion. I don't believe in hating people over religion. I don't believe in one true religion. I don't believe in picking sides, I don't believe in splitting hairs, or whatever you want to call it. I don't believe Catholicism is better than Christianity, or Jehovah, Jehovah is better than Mormon religion. I don't believe that. Um, and I don't like how it splits up families and starts wars and all that stuff. So... I, I have a problem with religion. I usually go to a Universalist Unitarian Church. This church is non-denominational, but they are pretty strict on stuff. Um, so, um, sometimes it does scare me off. Like, I was going and they were, like, talking about how, um, about TV how they don't have TVs. I was like, whoa. That was kind of scary to me. Um, yeah. Um, kids are playing. <laughs> and, um, it really was scary to me. Um, and, I don't know, like, okay, I'm going to post, uh, upload this video of Hope, the dog I rescued from Roswell. Um, so yeah, it's uploading now. So yeah, anyways, um, and they speak in tongues, which is a little weird. And they're really heavy on the converting and the ties, ties. Um, but I enjoy going and I do enjoy the message when it's not about tithing or converting um, or against gay people. I kind of tune out then, unfortunately, and I know that's probably bad, um, but I just, yeah, not into that. <laughs> I am. Um, I don't know. Sorry if I'm insulting anyone. I believe God loves everyone, and I believe in doing the best you can on this earth while you're here. And I believe religion is a man made thing. I believe there is no one true religion. 
Um, I don't know. I believe that the Bible is kind of a man-made thing. Um, kind of. I believe people pick and choose what they want out of it. But I do believe that, you know, we just have to do the best we can and love everyone and um, not... Um, not judge, you know, if somebody is wicked or whatever, we can't judge them. Um, if that's not what we believe, because even if it's against what we believe, judging them and will not make them, I don't know, like in our church, it says that we have to cut ties or something. And it's like, that's not gonna, that just shows how weak we are. If we just live a good life and I don't know. I mean, I'm strong enough where I can be friends with somebody and they're not gonna influence me to change my mind. I mean, I've been with my husband. I'm not an alcoholic. I don't smoke spice. I don't smoke weed. I don't do drugs. Um, in fact, I don't even drink anymore. I gave up alcohol completely. So I don't smoke weed anymore. I don't do anything anymore. I actually pretty much straight edge now except for food um and cigarettes i smoke for work that's it <laughs> i'm pretty boring um yep so i don't give in to peer pressure mm. soda cherry limeade mm peer pressure um but I don't think that cutting them out or making them feel bad about themselves or anything like that is gonna make them change or make them making them feel bad about themselves is gonna showing them love is going to um just my opinion my two cents um yeah, showing them love and acceptance and what a good person you are. She's just, just a wild theory. Um, yeah, I know, crazy, huh? Um, you know, be like, I can't speak to you anymore because you're a heathen. No, I don't think that's the right way to go about it. Or, you know, like in the Bible or whatever, Jesus' friends were hookers and lawyers and thieves and tax collectors, you know. He didn't say, I can't speak to you, I can't be your friend. I, you know, he, he was friends with those people. He loved those people. What would Jesus do? <laughs> um yeah but again uh, I don't think the Jehovah's believe in Jesus or something like that they think he was a really nice guy or something I think I don't know um yeah so that's a weird one. I would not give up my birthday. I only have it once every four years, so I already sacrifice enough there. Um, and uh, the whole not getting a blood transfusion thing. Hmm. Um, 
who come that comes up with these religions like seriously and, and Mormonism have you really really researched being a Mormon everybody becomes gods in the end as long as you follow the books of John Smith what <sighs> okay all right that's crazy stuff crazy 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 hi Lola 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 come here say hi come here come here come here come here are oh, you gonna come on this side okay come here oh no you're gonna come on this side come on come here come here what are you doing Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, Lola. Come here. She doesn't know what she's doing. She doesn't know what she's doing. She doesn't know. She's going to go in her kennel. Are you going to go in your kennel? You're confused. Okay. Okay. Laters.